It's 11.59 at Radio Free America, and this is Uncle Sam with music and the truth until dawn. Right now, I've got a few words for some of our brothers and sisters in the occupied zone. The chair is against the wall. The chair is against the wall. John has a long mustache. John has a long mustache. It's 12 o'clock, Americans, another day closer to victory. How are we doing, folks? Mike here from Observation Post Charlie. Working on the gear. Somebody, one of my subscribers, said, Hey, try that apple green on your writ die in one of my videos. And I said, Okay, I tried the peacock, and the peacock green came out really dark. But it was just an experiment, and I like it. You know, it worked well. As we all know, this ACU or useless camo, as the Army called it, I'm glad they. I think this camo design had been all right but they should have went with a different color for the money they spent so we're starting it and I'm gonna go ahead and die what I hadn't died and we're gonna use this uh, apple green was the color apple green by writ dye so I'll bring you back once we get all this done we'll see what it looks like stand by so far it's only been 10 minutes and you can see the difference between them. I like it. Yeah. Let's continue. Moving on. Right, here's the final product. See what it looked like in the beginning. Some of this was already dyed. I dyed it and tried it uh, peacock green. That's just darker green here. And there. But uh, the Kelly green or apple green, I'm sorry, apple green worked out pretty good. I like it. Got rid of that sage color, more green tint to it. I like it. And I'll put it together and put it on, and see what it looks like. Okay, here we go. After it all died out and everything, it's dried. I changed things up a little bit because I did get another pack in or pouch rather. My Bufong, two mags, two mags. This has got my monocular in it. Uh, water tabs, uh, a Bic lighter, canteen cup, canteen, medical shears. This right here is kind of a GP pouch. It's a saw pouch, 200 round saw pouch. But inside, I got some toiletry, keep yourself clean, and there's one of them little folding uh, trowels and gun cleaning kit with some lube and bug spray, okay, there's, there's where that, I got that, and I can also slip another box of ammo down in there, gives me another 100 rounds, uh, between 150 to uh, an extra 100 to 150 rounds, depending on what size box I can put in there. Okay, multi-tool, paste beads, IPAC, another two mags, and this has got my compass. It's got my little light tethered in there. I was able to get them together. There's kind of like my map, notes, paper, take some notes map some different little things I got wrote down in there for my own personal use pen pencils markers gloves and of course this would go on the inside of the admin pouch okay that's for that set up there now if I wanted to oh before we go the other way on my person on my trouser pants okay what I would have is like my military, well, like the old Boy Scout knife. We used to get issued these. Basically, it's like a Boy Scout knife or Swiss Army knife. That would be tethered to a belt loop and down in my pocket. That would be a backup and it does work pretty accurate. This would be in my pocket or down in a pouch, a little multi tool. Multi tool, one of my homemade Ranger bands. This is an option, it's a little Gerber. Sorry, that shouldn't be there. Fire kit. 
okay that would be on my belt extra little first aid kit okay now as we talked about this before this is a molly 2 butt pouch but what i'm using it for i can either take and pull the belt out out of here and use it run, run around my waist but what i like to use it for is like a sling pack and there's 24 hours of ration extra socks extra underwear extra t-shirt um, extra batteries and then my poncho okay now if i was going to do something really light alice meet molly molly meet alice i this is some old gear that i've had around and i throw some of my molly stuff on there first aid kit and that would be in there i can also put a light extra batteries uh ammo throw a day's worth of food some socks or whatever in there i haven't loaded this one down because i still just messing with this in the trial purification tabs canteen cup one quart canteen two mags two mags that would be for and of course i can su supplement it with that and that'll be on me at all the times uh, so that would work i mean for just doing light duty uh security of my area patrolling and recon that's more than enough um, and this I can throw extra 150 rounds uh, like I said I can throw a day of food throw my poncho down in there if I wanted to or whatever or I can just you know throw it over my shoulder like I said like a little sling pack that's all that's going to be I'm just repurposing it from a Molly, uh, Molly waist pack to like a little sling pack the one day sling pack now if i was going to do more than say 18 to 24 hours then i got my little german assault pack and then i got my swiss sturma puck which would help me out to three days but there it is in a nutshell and i think the dye after it dries it looks pretty good and the person that uh suggested me to do that with the uh uh, apple green yeah it worked out pretty good i like it i lightened that up some i was able to combine some things and it worked out and i just thought i'd throw some of this extra stuff on my old alice gear one bad thing about the alice was the alice clips man they you had to tie them take paracord tie them on the back keep them from coming undone and b they would gouge and cut into you and it sucked so yeah Alice meet Molly Molly meet Alice that's a good setup I like it and then again that'd be I guess some people call it line one or whatever that'd be on my person all the time okay all right guys let me know what you think till next time God bless take care observation poet Charlie out